Russia pressed its invasion of Ukraine to the outskirts of the capital Kyiv on Friday, February 25, 2022, after unleashing airstrikes on cities and military bases and sending in troops and tanks from three sides in an attack that could rewrite global post-Cold War security order. Even presently, explosions are sounding in Kyiv and gunfire is being reported in several areas of the country. Ukraine's president has pleaded for international help to fend off an attack that could topple his democratically elected government, cause massive casualties and ripple out damage to the global economy. Ukraine is a popular destination for many Indian students who dream to be doctors and engineers. And many of our Indian students are stuck there in Ukraine with a large number of students from the state of Uttar Pradesh itself, including Prayagraj and Pratapgarh districts of Uttar Pradesh, are students who are stuck there in these deteriorating circumstances. And amidst these times of ongoing war and conflict, the hope of these Indian students coming back home to the native land it dwindles because the flights have been cancelled for an indefinite period of time and the sirens and the hooters of the military it is continuously warning them to stay locked in their homes and bunkers while well, indian government is trying its level best to bring back every indian home safely and which is why uh, helpline numbers they have been issued and all sort of help is being promised to every indian that they will be back home soon safe and sound Officers of the Indian Embassy, they are trying their level best uh, to get the Indians uh, airlift uh, from the neighboring countries, uh, Poland, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia. Well, Amit Mishra of Prayagraj, Major Road, Katholi, Arpit Singh of Lehri, Dikshant, Srivastava of Dhumanganj, Neva, Bhuvan Singh of Alanganj and Anmol Ahuja of Allapur localities of Prayagraj are still stuck in the basement of an apartment in the city of Ukraine, Odessa. Well, let's pray for the safety of all Ukrainians and let's pray that all our Indian friends and these students, they are back home safe. Thank you. K. Rashi Bidalia Kumar, citizen journalist from India.